Good day. I am here inside the Microsoft Whiteboard and I wanted to give you a quick, quick, quick overview of the toolbars. This is the app version that you access through the Windows Inc. workspace in your taskbar, that little pen with a squiggle. The Office 365 access has far fewer tools and there is not a video for that. So if I want to just ink, I want to draw, I want to write um, algebra problems and work them out with my kids, and all I want to do is ink, I'm going to go right here to inking mode. And inking mode opens its own toolbar where you have your favorite pens, including a nice rainbow pen. And when I've chosen a pen, I, it just has a little dot next to it. There's also a highlighter, an eraser, uh, and a ruler that on the computer I'm on right now, I can just move it back and forth and it's remained at a 45 degree angle. But on a touch screen, I can use two fingers and change the angle of this ruler. To get rid of the ruler, by the way, this isn't tricky, but it can be kind of a mystery. Just unclick the ruler. This right here is a lasso. So let's say, for example, I write my initials right there. I can take that lasso. And if I want to delete or do something to it, I can just lasso it. And then it gives me options. So I can change the color of my initials. I can copy my initials and then paste somewhere else over here. Uh, there's a paste tool. Or let's see what else I can do. There is a few things there. I can also, of course, go backwards and go forwards. So that is the inking toolbar. When I'm done with the inking toolbar, I'm just going to click the little uh, check mark where it says done inking and it takes me back to the uh, main toolbar. I can still see everything I created here though. Again, on the main toolbar right here, I love this, I can just type. So again, if I want to enter data or we're brainstorming with the kids or I want to type out some directions or I want to set up pages before I do a presentation, I might choose to just, you know, have them, um, you know, be sure to be muted. Uh, I'll release you to speak. All right, and because this is another object, if I tap tap in and out of it, it'll give me the option of um, editing it, changing the colors, copying it, etc., or just deleting it. Uh, also down here, of course, are sticky notes. Um, you've heard me say a hundred times, I am not a huge fan of sticky notes, but once I've prepared a sticky note, if I want one, I can change the size of it and maybe just kind of keep it over in the corner and then you know, tap on it and enlarge it or turn it or whatever um, when I need to access it. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink that down for our purposes right now. Um, also over here are images and to bring in images, you can bring something from your computer. If I tap on this, it's going to open my Windows Explorer. I can bring something in in a um, uh, Bing search. So right here, you can't tell, but right here it's opened up a Bing image search. So if I want to search for bananas, I've got bananas. And if I want a banana, I can just click it twice. And now I've got bananas on my screen. So that's cool. And of course I tap on that. It gives me its own little uh, toolbar and I can do what I want with it. Now I'm back down here and I want to show you the, the last one. This, uh, these two, you know what they do, undo and redo. I don't need to show you those, but this insert menu with a plus sign, if I tap on that, it gives me a list of, um, of things I want you guys to shop and look at. Uh, each of these is a little template that will help you organize your work. It, it, they've got some really good ideas. I don't always say that, but um, so you can just check those out. They're on preview right now because they're new, but they, I think they're going to stick. And uh, you can choose, for example, follow-ups list. For example, if we, as a class, had uh, questions, this might be a, a parking lot for questions. So, you know, um, how do bananas grow or, and you know, we don't want to go off on a tangent while we're doing math with bananas, but we can come back and have our follow-ups. If I tap on it again, I get a little toolbar. I can make it smaller. I can throw it up here in the corner and take this parking lot and do something with it later. Again, under this plus sign, there's several you can look at and under template, there's even more. Uh, stickers uh, just allows you to add stickers. There's a few different collections. I don't want you to miss out on those. Um, but here's the best part. If I click this, I can go in and pull a PDF 
a Word doc or a PowerPoint and throw it into this whiteboard. And now I've got um, a PDF of perhaps a Pearson Easy Bridge math worksheet that we can work on together on this screen. Or a Word doc could be um, something that we're reading together or that we've written together. And we want to go through and do some highlighting, some editing, some uh, marking up, close reading, whatnot. And obviously with a PowerPoint doc, we can, there's a zillion things you can do with that. So um, play around with these. I just wanted you to let you know what's under everything here. The toolbars are more robust in the app version, which is what we're in. And I remember all you have in the Office 365 version is simply the, um, the drawing, which might be all you want. And that's fine too.